Hey there, welcome to your reading. Today's reading is what do your guides want you to know, all right? And we do have three groups for you to choose from. We have group one, the red tiger's eye, group two, the blue obsidian, and group three, the snowflake obsidian, all right? So group one, two, and three. If you do want to pause the video so you can take some time, feel free. I will see you in your readings. Hi, welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the red tiger's eye crystal, then this reading is for you. So your guides, what do they want you to know right now? Okay. So we have the seven of cups and we also have the page of swords. So your guides want to you want they want you to know or they want to remind you that you have great ideas you know you should be more vocal about these ideas or you should take action towards these ideas but you also need to be patient you know be patient with the process be patient um, with yourself be patient on getting returns from your ideas uh, maybe be patient in terms of in implementing your ideas or you know um, kind of like the process of it for some of you maybe you have already kind of sown seeds you know of ideas that you have on or, or opportunities or goals that you want to pursue and you guys just want you to be patient with these as they grow as they mature um so yeah be patient and try to not let anything deter you whether this be people um but this is especially in terms of like lack of motivation or self-doubt your guys also want you to switch up on how you are communicating with others how you're communicating with yourself especially if you can be harsh if you can be you know quite curt um They kind of just want you to communicate in healthier ways it's like what you say could definitely be very honest very um direct but they kind of just want you to to just to get the message across but in a different way you know they also want you to know that they are removing delays and blockages so if you have been feeling like you're just experiencing a lot of challenges or um, a lot of roadblocks they're definitely um, removing those but for some of you they want you to um, to learn a lesson first or be mindful of just like not repeating the past like certain things that didn't work for you try not to repeat it again like if it is in terms of people it's if it's in terms of you know um, behaviors that you know hold you back they want you to be mindful of that and uh, make appropriate changes moving forward and if you continue to do that these roadblocks um, these challenges and these delays will be removed for you you know for some of you this could be a lesson in generosity uh, maybe being more generous to yourself it feels like um, a lot of you in this group could have been saving or you're being really mindful of your finances and they are very happy that you're doing this, that you're taking that initiative, but they also don't want this to stop you from um, living or they don't want this um, to kind of like make you be mean to yourself. So if you can, um, they definitely want you to budget as well for doing nice things for yourself. It doesn't have to be super extravagant, you know, um, you know, something nice for yourself or any of you, if any of you have kids, like do something nice for them as well. Something nice for the both of you. Like this could be as simple as taking a walk around like a nice park and getting some ice cream, you know, like just enjoying that time together. 
um but again it doesn't have to be like super extravagant but spending that time together um will be very important for you or your guys just want to make that like a priority for you So your guys also love how analytical you are. They love how curious you are. They don't want you to stop being this way. For some of you though, they do want for you to be more cautious. They do want you to be more analytical of people and situations, especially in terms of, you know, immaturity, maybe people being uh, codependent on you. They don't want you to let that interfere with your goals, your optimism, your mood. maybe even just like day-to-day -day responsibilities like you know it can become overwhelming when you have so much ish to do right um but they also want you to kind of like just maybe be patient in terms of those you know one thing at a time like don't allow those things to ruin your mood you know um oh yeah They also want you to be cautious of certain things and people that are impacting your mood, whether this is food you eat, uh, whether this is certain people that you have to surround yourself or certain environments, maybe even watching the news, social media. They want you to be very mindful of how those little things um, impact you, you know, how they make you feel. And um, they either want you to cut these things out or they just want you to be more mindful of it so it's like okay if i you know see something on social media that kind of rubs me the wrong way um am i gonna let that affect my mood or am i gonna you know you know disengage or disregard whatever it is that has affected me like that okay so they definitely want you to be more mindful or cut these unhealthy um things that could distract you and that could interrupt your mood they want you to cut it out or just be more mindful of it okay it's like they just want you to refuse to allow those energies interfere with your own so they also want for you to be honest with others they want you to be honest with yourself um you don't have to be harsh um but i'm also hearing like fuck their feelings which sounds a bit harsh but they want you to be honest it doesn't have to be in a hurtful you know way um but they do still want you to keep it real you know because certain people need to hear the truth that you have you know so yeah your guys also want you to know that you do have so many options that you need to make the most of you know um, again it's one step at a time like you can be patient like they're not asking you to rush but they're definitely asking you to take action towards those ideas towards those options that you have for some of you they could want for you to explore as many options as possible to find the right one for you whether this is referring to love whether this is referring to work education uh hobbies um it's like a cake tasting you know they want you to try as many flavors as possible so that you you know which one is for you you know they also want you to be more realistic um this could be in terms of having a more realistic expectation of people maybe a more re realistic expectation of yourself for some of you they just don't want you to expect too much too soon They also want you to stop fantasizing, stop dreaming, um, stop. It's like, I don't know if you think a lot, uh, maybe you guys need to analyze things a lot. And even though they love that about you, they don't want that to stop you from actually putting action, you know, and, um, you know, actual work behind those ideas, behind those thoughts that you have. They don't want you to rush um so that you can they they do, they don't want you to overthink but they do want you to still be analytical you know they think you're very smart um and they want you to analyze situations people of like in an objective way 
so yeah they definitely want you to be ambitious continue to be ambitious and and pursue the ambitions that you do have okay So we have life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing that they contain. So there is a lesson that your guides really want you to learn. For some of you, this could be something you are aware of. For some of you, this could be referring to like anxiety, things, maybe things that make you feel anxious, maybe certain things that make you feel fearful. Um, so they want you to recognize certain patterns that you may have, patterns that aren't healthy for you or that they're just not serving you. And they want you to, you know, take away the lesson and make the necessary changes that you need to make. So this could be in terms of people that was clarified by the Eight of Cups. So, I mean, this could be people you've already kind of left behind, moved on from. If they come back, keep it the same way, you know, keep focused on yourself. Um, it's just like maybe not looking back for some of you. We also have healthy communication in relationships, heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication can help you understand and be understood. So yeah, they definitely want you to communicate in healthier ways with people, uh, maybe people that you're close to as well. Do you have more comments for me? They kind of just want you to communicate in more loving ways okay especially if you can be very like harsh whether you mean it or not you know um but yeah they want you to know that you can still get your message across by being clear by being honest by being assertive but without being rude you know or um, hurtful even if that's not your intention to do so So we also have limitation is power, lean into your limitations. So you guys want you to stop limiting yourself. It's like, uh, maybe you have an idea, you know, this doesn't have to be pertaining to goals. Like say, for example, you wanna, you know, go down to the beach, you know, something random. But for whatever reason, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I can't do this because of, you know, X, Y, Z. They want you to stop doing that. You know, if you have an idea, like, go for it. Like, there's nothing wrong with being analytical, you know, planning ahead. Um, but they don't want that to stop you from living. They don't want that to kind of, it's like, say, for example, there's a clear road. But because you overthink, like, it just like all of a sudden there's blocks in these clear on these like clear roads. You know, they just don't want you to hold yourself back, um, you know, because of limitations, because of fears. Um, so they definitely want you to, you know, whatever it is that's um, limiting you. So, you know, if you have fears, if you, you know, have worries, they want you to lean into these instead of kind of like running away from them. I hope that makes sense. Um so we also have uh, pronghorn and it says action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. I love that. Okay. So yeah, your guys want you to take action. They want you to know that you have amazing ideas um, this could be one specific idea, it could be, uh, you know, multiple ideas, but they want you to know that now is the time to act, like now is the time to um, put real action and real, you know, thoughts and plans um, 
you know physical things behind these ideas that you have and if any of you have been feeling like your options are very limited your guys want you to know that you will it's like you'll have more clarity on these options and what these options are and how to move forward on these options so if you've been feeling stuck in that way your guys want you to know that those roadblocks or those you know delays or you know that lack of clarity will be uh, removed for um for you so they definitely want you to move forward with confidence they want you to know that you are so talented you're very creative you have amazing ideas and they want you to know that these will be the things that make you successful you know so if you can't see it now like your guys want you to know that you will be successful um in these ideas or you know whatever it may be okay um but yeah that is all i have for this group um i do hope it can make sense and be helpful but take care of yourselves okay hi welcome to your reading if you've chosen the second group the blue uh, blue obsidian then this reading is for you so what do your guides want you to know okay and i'll start off with your tarot cards okay so we have the ten of cups upright and we also have the three of cups in reverse so what do your guys want you to know so it feels like for this group please take these messages if they resonate but your guys want you to stop being antisocial they want you to connect or reconnect with your family this is obviously not referring to people who may have been abusive to you um, or people who have caused you a lot of hurt um, or friends who aren't good for you but they do want you to reconnect with those good people who are in your life for some of you this could be referring to new connections so maybe they don't want you to be closed off in terms of exploring new connections whether these are just you know friendships um or maybe you know new connections with family um that maybe you haven't connected with in a while but if you have been quite like standoffish or apathetic your guys want you to be more friendly more open to you know communicating and connecting with other people um and this could be like just um like you know simple situations like you're in a park and someone you know makes small talk with you or honestly like if you get like good vibes from this person or you feel like safe or comfortable um you know like open up and, and talk to these people um get to know random people or you know um they also want you to trust yourselves because there are some weirdos out here you know um but yeah and if any of you have been overindulging in things that aren't, you know, healthy for you, they do want you to either cut it out, okay, show moderation, um, or slow down, you know, so that your health doesn't decline uh, um, because of these things. Some of you, there is a person or a group of people who aren't treating you as you should be treated, and they want you to end those connections or they want you to implement boundaries. They want you to show yourself more respect, okay? Um, so especially if there are people around you who don't respect you or have clearly shown that, um, yeah, that have clearly shown you like how they feel about you or what they think about you, you know, like, whether this be not them not making your priority or whether this is, you know, you giving more than they give to you. They do want you to be mindful of those connections, maybe nip those connections in the bud and be open to connecting or, you know, finding new um, connections, people who do treat you with more respect and more love and more kindness. OK. Um, your guys also want you to celebrate yourself more and this could be an upcoming birthday, this could be an accomplishment, you know, whether it's a big one or a small one, they just want you to do something nice for yourself to mark the, the occasion, you know. Um, your guys also want you to stop reacting in like 
emotional ways they're not telling you to like shut off your emotions of course not but um for some of you if you can react to things in really emotional ways um they kind of just want you to be more level-headed they want you to be um more logical maybe they kind of just want you to not allow people or things to kind of get you in your feelings so they could want you to be more cautious of that but if you're if 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 you react in in emotional ways is like like i don't know how to put this but like a lot like maybe it's like over reactive they just want you to have more like have more of a handle on your emotions especially in terms of your reactions okay whether this is anger or um i don't know you know but yeah they also want you to take a minute before reacting to something you know maybe asking yourself is this even worth a reaction from me or would it be better if I just kind of walk away in this moment, you know? Or like certain times, like people, f like they they feed off of you kind of getting emotional or getting angry or getting very frustrated and stressed out and upset. Like some people feed on you reacting out in those ways. So it feels like if that is the case for any of you, like maybe the best thing you can do is to not give them a reaction like that shit would hurt them even more than giving them a reaction you know so your guys just want you to be cautious and they want you to be aware of that um, they also want you to go outside more um, and not to do errands you know not to go out to work but um, they want you to but like things like sitting in a park or going for a walk, going to see family, going out to eat, doing something fun, you know, it doesn't have to be with someone else. But they do want you to kind of get out more, especially if you have been uh, isolating or keeping to yourself. They do want you to, yeah, get out more. OK. Feel the sun on your face and all that jazz and not only to do things that you have to do, you know. they also want you to be aware they want you to know that someone from your past will you know try or want to reconnect with you and they want you to know that it could be a repeat of the past and they don't have the best intentions towards you i'm going to see what capacity is this is this could be a friend for some of you like this could be an ex-friend um, and they do want you to be cautious if you are considering reconnecting with this person because they may not have the best intentions for you but yeah they want you to know that you are going to be feeling uh, really stable you're going to be feeling super happy as well and comfortable especially if you haven't been feeling happy uh, recently it feels like you're going to be in a more loving energy towards yourself and just feeling more love in general. So we have here increased support. Okay, so this isn't about you asking for support, but it does feel like your guys want you to know that you are going to be feeling more supported. Do you have more from this? So we also have ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Right, so maybe some of you have been very closed off for a reason, you know, maybe you have been hurt a lot, maybe you've had to take time to heal and your guides want you to know that maybe now is a good time or now um, maybe you've learned, you know, the lesson. So even if you were to run into people that, uh, you know, maybe running into people who exhibit certain behaviors or traits in people from your past people who maybe haven't treated you the best 
they want you to know that you are stronger now that you have learned the lessons and that you will be so much more aware when these people do come into your life and you'll be able to act appropriately when it comes to these people as well you know they don't want you to shut your heart off um, or shut yourself off to love meeting new people whether this is, is in terms of romance or whether it is in terms of friendship We also have longing is the portal to wholeness. Yeah, so it feels like you guys want you to get out of this apathetic mood and you don't have to do big and extravagant things. They're not telling you, like, if you're feeling down, then you're feeling down, you know, but they don't want that to stop you, you know, go out, get some fruit, sit in the park, you know, eat fruit, you know, you don't have to be all, you know, bubbly and happy and shit, but they do want you to kind of get out there anyways, you know, um, and just enjoy life, okay? But yeah, they really do want you to maybe try different things, though, to, to help your mood. And finally, we have Cougar, Assertive. In silence, you find your power. So some of you, maybe you guys have been in an energy where you have been keeping to yourself. Maybe you have been silent. Maybe you have been isolated. And they want you to know that you have found your power through doing this. Like, even if you don't feel it now, like, you are so much stronger um, than you were before. And they want you to acknowledge that. They want you to notice that as well. Um, but anyway, so it also says claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go. You know what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. I'll put this here just in case you want to read it yourself. So you guys want you to have courage, take the lead, um, and yeah, be confident in yourself, okay? For some of you, this is coming across as like a quiet confidence, you know? Um, but yeah, that is all I have though. For those of you who chose this group, I do hope it could make sense and be helpful. Um, but I'm wishing you the best, all right? Take care. Bye. Hi, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the obsidian, the snowflake obsidian, then this reading is for you. So what do your guides want you to know? So we have the three of swords in reverse and we also have the knight of wands upright. Okay. So your guys want you to know that if any of you are feeling heartbreak, betrayal, lost, they want you to know that you may need to do the work in order to heal from it. For others of you, if you have been doing the work, um, your guys want you to know that you will overcome any heartbreak or um, hurt feelings that you are feeling right now you will heal and you will come out of this situation you know stronger better than ever okay um your guys want you to know that the more you long for this person or the more you long for this situation the longer your healing will be Some of you could be in a dark spot that may not be related to heartbreak, but you will come out of this dark period very soon and your guys want you to want to reassure you of that. Your guys also want you to compromise more so that you aren't always facing opposition. 
Well, obviously this is not compromising in ways that kind of stomp over your boundaries or stomp over your wants and needs. Um, so uh, they, you know, I don't know if this is a situation where the other person is unwilling to compromise. But if it is in a situation where this person wants to compromise um, and it kind of maybe takes you both meeting in the middle in order to achieve a positive outcome, then you're being encouraged to do that, okay? For some of you, if this makes sense, your guides do want you to be okay with being alone or be with being single for now um, and let the idea of reconciliation or... Uh, yeah reconciliating with someone go like they could want you to let that idea go um, or they want to confirm to you that you won't be reconciling with someone so if you are holding on to someone they want you to let that person go okay so they want you to feel your emotions they do want you to you know feel your pain instead of maybe trying to cover it up trying to avoid it or trying to dismiss it um because it will just keep coming back and maybe it will you know get stronger maybe it will build up and they don't want that to happen and for some of you it's like if you don't you know confront some of these issues or some of these problems or some of these emotions then they will keep coming back but through different people through different situations um and it will just be a repeat you know keep repeating itself in in, in different ways until you learn that lesson or until you let something something go or until you confront um, something okay um so for some of you here your guys also want you to work on your temper to be yeah to be more mindful of your temper um you know to better your own life and your your relationships your guides want you to find something that gets you excited as well, something that you're very passionate about. And this could be something you are already doing and they kind of want you to pour your time and your energy into it and you know, to try not let distractions uh, get in the way of this, you know. They want you to be ambitious. Um, they want you to be consistent as well with your ambitions. And it feels like they just want you to move forward, you know, they don't want you to keep being stuck. So consistency, determination um, will kind of help you move forward faster than you currently are moving, okay? Some of you, you have a talent, you are really good at something and your guides want you to lean into this. Um, and this could end up improving your finances as well for some of you here. So we also have self-confidence through God confidence, believing yourself by believing in God working through you. So your guides definitely want for you to have more confidence in yourself, have more confidence in maybe your talents, um, your ideas, whatever it may be. Um, maybe just confidence in yourself, you know. Um, but yeah, like say, for example, you want to wear something or you want to do something like don't let any outside opinions hold you back on doing you like do you okay um but yeah we also have live in the moment so your guys also want for you to live in the moment more for some of you you could be looking outside of yourself for fulfillment or for happiness or you know reassurance whatever it may be but your guys want you to know that whatever it is you are looking for you already have it you know um so yeah and finally not finally but we also have purification and detoxification it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life so if you are aware if there's any people you know foods um things in your life that if you know that if you were to remove these things if you were to, you know, release these things, if you were to work through these things, that it would make your life better, that it would, would clear and, you know, purify and detoxify, whether it be your body, your energy, um, they want you to, you know, take the steps in doing that. And finally, we have Raven, Shaman, 
You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as the keeper of mysteries. So your guides, they also want for you to make an effort to connect with them, you know? So whether that be through meditation, whether that be through, you know, nature, whether that be through, you know, praying, they want you to connect with them, okay? They also want you to trust yourself more because they feel like you are really talented. They feel like you have so much wisdom. They feel like you're very intelligent. So they don't want you to hold that back either, okay? And they want you to know, so it says here, glide through the void. They want you to know that if you are going through a dark time, if you are going through a period where maybe you feel aimless, maybe you feel like you there's no direction, they want you to know that you are going to get through this period, okay? So be patient with yourself through this time. So your guys also want you to know that they have been sending you messages. So they do want for you to, um, you know, be mindful of the messages that they are sending you. So whether this be through, um, you know, synchronicities, through, you know, times, you know, like um, repeated numbers. Um, they definitely want you to look up, look it up. They, they want you to know that they are trying to connect with you. Maybe if you, you know, keep seeing ravens even. Um, or if you keep seeing feathers and stuff like that, they do want you to know that they're kind of, they're with you, they're close by and to, to call on them if you need them and when you need them. Um, but yeah, that is all I have. Wait, hold on actually. Oh yeah, so that's all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful, um, but take care of yourselves, all right?